in the beginning, it was one of the first, maybe maybe the first journal in biology to focus on, on educational research. And we were really feeling our way, at least most of us, I think. Some of the editors had been involved with educational work before, um, but I was just on there to learn how to do it and see whether I thought it would be fun to do myself. And so, uh, you know, the purpose of the journal in that point was really to help us get a foothold and and get a start. And if you look at the, I went back and looked at the contents of the first issue, and it was a mixed bag of uh, a couple of sort of editorial pieces, some reminiscences. I had a little one about how we wrote a biology, I mean, a biochemistry textbook based on problem solving that with some of the same goals in mind uh, earlier. And, um, and then there were several articles on, on lab exercises and how you could uh, uh, adapt them experimental procedures to uh, student labs and present them. So it was a mixture of, we were, we were uh, kind of casting about for what should, should be in the journal. And then over the years, the, the uh, focus has, well, it's become more and more professional and more and more uh, targeted to educational research and it's been a leader um, in the life sciences certainly of uh, trying to introduce this kind of thinking of education research to people who are teaching in the classroom and get them to think about and evaluate and apply some of the ideas that have come out of educational research. Another thing that I am impressed with is if you look back and see the impact that I think it was really the the journal was sort of the beginning of a movement to get more um, undergraduate teacher, more undergraduate faculty uh, involved in thinking about education and, and, and about the way they teach. Um, and it, in the process, it spawned a lot of other things that, that are now active and, and very uh, important um, for contemporary young uh, faculty, I think.